Mazier Mafi has been an immigration and litigation attorney in Orange County for the past 28 years. He was the first Iranian American to run for U.S. Congress, specializing in deportation and removals, green cards through to investments and family. Let's meet Mazier Mafi. Hello, Mazier. Thanks Hi. for coming in. Of course. Good. Please Thank sit you. down. So tell me, how did you become an immigration lawyer? Well, um, I looked at the um, difficulties that immigrants were having um, and um, the process that they had to go through. And it, to me, it looked like a David and Goliath kind of a struggle. It's uh, really um, the um, biggest, uh, most uh, complicated set of laws by the United States, the uh, most advanced government in the world. Um, sometimes versus people who really um, uh, are in need of help. And um, they go through the struggles of having to get through all that they need to get through simply to be able to stay in this country. And uh, that's something that interested me. I thought that I can help. And uh, I looked at, for instance, people who um, have uh, petitions in front of a city uh, council or a smaller entity and how difficult they have it. Compare that to uh, the American government altogether. It's a large bureaucracy. Um, it's a difficult bureaucracy, difficult processes, and I thought that I could be of some help to people. Well, where do you see the direction of immigration law? Immigration law is um, one of the most um, difficult, one of the most uh, complicated set of laws that exists on um, American um, legal books. And um, uh, it, they're not getting simpler as we go forward. Um, these processes become more and more and more complicated and um, it's almost impossible for somebody uh, to be able to go through that without the assistance of somebody who's been there, has been through the struggle, struggles, um, knows where everything is and knows how to get something through. Well, that's, that's very interesting and you're exactly right as I can tell you from firsthand experience. I actually immigrated to this country from Canada and uh, I was dumb. I handled my case on my own and I actually uh, left the country at one point during the, the process and I couldn't get back in. So it is a complicated thing. So it kind of, uh, this is a preface to my question. I already know the answer. Should a client handle their own immigration cases? Well, um, I'll start the answer to that question this way. Um, 28 years ago when I started practicing law, there were certain types of petitions that if I got a call from a client about, I would suggest that they can handle that kind of petition themselves. Um, no longer. Um, immigration has gotten far more complicated and um, no, people should really not handle their own cases. Even if it's a um, simple petition they're filing, such as for citizenship um, or, or something even simpler than that. Um, what you don't know uh, can hurt you much more than whatever it is that you pay an attorney to help you from the beginning. Absolutely, I, I will second that. At, at, at what stage of the process should a client actually contact you? Yeah, um, uh, this is something that we get in the office all the time, by people who either have started something on their own or you know, are uh, contemplating doing that. Like any other professional, I want to get that at the very, very, earliest possible, at the very beginning. I even would prefer it a few months before I could get started so that we have enough time to pay attention to what it is that needs to be done. A lot of what you're going to do, um, if you want to be um, successful and you want to have um, that success come as uh, quick as possible, is how quickly you, st you start and how comprehensive is a petition that you file. That's what we do best. We know how to make your petition look its best. We know what kind of documentation, supporting material to add on to what you have in order to be able to get that through as quickly as possible. So I want to get that as quickly as possible. Yeah, and that's an important thing, of course, for that, that fee. I mean, that's their, your, the cost. You not only make things, save some headaches for those clients, you get them in quicker. And in, in some cases, I bet you, you it's a matter of if they hadn't hired you, they wouldn't get in at all. A, a lot of people who have started stuff on their own come to us after they run into problems. And I can tell you, for me to resolve a problem after it's been 
um, uh, uh, created is much, much more expensive than if I was handling something like that from the beginning. Well, how should a client go about selecting an attorney? That's a really important question. A lot of people just go through the yellow pages and you know just pick some, pick a name. Um, I think that um, uh, for anybody who's hiring just about any type of an attorney, um, an attorney-client relationship is really a sacred relationship. Um, people should be comfortable with their attorneys. Um, they need to select um, people that they think have the experience and the background that can actually do the work. After they select those people, they really should go and interview the attorney. They should talk to the attorney and make sure that they have some kind of a relationship that can help them get through that process much faster. A lawyer in a lot of ways has to come sometimes to a client and tell them things they don't necessarily want to hear, how complicated something is going to be. I have to be able to establish a relationship of trust in order to be able to um, do that successfully. Well, Mazir Mafi, your contact information is up on the screen. I would encourage anyone who's in need of, a, of an immigration attorney to get with you. Don't make the same mistakes or mistake that I did. Uh, again, you're, you're doing uh, invaluable work, and I just wish you much continued success. Thank, Thank you, you very Mazir. much. I appreciate it. Thank you.